Hi everyone, this is Ryan from Masuva. With 5.7 being out, the major change that's happened on ter in terms of a coding level has been the introduction of namespaces. This has been perhaps the, the biggest part of friction when it's come to uh, developers making the transition between 5.6 and 5.7 and there's been a fair bit of confusion around how they actually work and how you actually you know, implement namespaces and, and use statements in your code. So what I wanted to do today was run through some typical examples of where you need to think about namespacing in Concrete 5 development. Um, I'm no expert in, in the uh, finer details of namespacing. It is something I've learnt fairly recently I guess um, so I'll do my best to explain uh, everything as clearly as possible if I get something slightly technically wrong I apologize in advance so uh, for this uh, demonstration I thought I'd look at uh, one of our sites which is McLaren Vale Flores um, the reason why I wanted to look at that is because we've used a combination of different custom packages including list files from set and we'll have a look at that now and the reason I wanted to start with this one is that this is a this is an add-on that I've got uh, in the marketplace for free. It's uh, there's both a 5.6 and a 5.7 version, so you can download this and have a bit of a look at it if you if you want to. So okay, the first example with namespacing I wanted to talk about was about packages themselves and package controllers. So here we've got packages for concrete. We've got inside that our list files from set folder here and then we've got the controller file here for the package and that's handling the installation. So the big difference we'll see compared to say a 5.6 version of this is that we've now got this namespace line at the top uh, of our class file. So what is actually a namespace? Well the way that I see a namespace is it's just a way to prevent uh, a clash of class names. So in the past we would have had something like list files from set controller as the class name but now in 5.7 we uh, are able to call everything consistently so there's lots of controller classes around Concrete 5 but what the namespace now does is separate them out and it allows us uh, to be able to have the same named classes but in different different parts of the file system and pull them in when we need to so what we really need to do to be able to understand namespaces in 5.7 is look at the pattern that's required. So for a, uh, a package installer or a, a controller, we need to start off with a namespace of concrete package and then we need to camel case the name of our package here. So list files from set, you can see that that's been camel cased here. Then the difference is we now just call our controller controller and it extends package. Now, um, the next thing with this though is that we need to look at these use statements. Now I'm going to expand these here and these are the other major thing that people might be getting confused with. The, the use of a use statement is that we're basically telling PHP that if we start to, in our file here, um, start using or referring to classes, it's telling us what actual class that we want to use. So in this case, because we're referring to the extension of package here, and we, we need to put this up here, but also I've down here, I'm installing the block using a block type class, and that means that I need to use block type up here. And that's saying, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna use this class down here, so let's use it in that context. So that's pretty much there, all there is for a, a, a package controller. There isn't, um, really anything else different in the code here from the 5.6 version it's really just these few statements at the top so that's that pattern so if we move into the the block for list files from set we can have a look at the controller there and this is starting to get a little bit more complex but the pattern is the same we need to create a namespace for this which is concrete package list files from set which was the same as we had for the package controller but now we've got blocks and then block and this is a bit of a special case that because we uh, have blocks here and sing singular block here just take note of that and then we need to say list files from set which is the name of the block and finally um, unlike we had uh, before in 5.6 uh, something block controller we just call it controller but like our package we're extending block controller and we can see it using uh, doing that use rule here 
to say hey we want to use block controller so let's refer to it here from here though the rest of it is pretty much the same um, if we uh, want to use something like file set and I think I've used it down down here because I'm doing this static call on file set I need to make sure that um, I've actually done a use statement for file set up the top so let's let's see what happens when it breaks so if we go back to our site here this gallery here this list of images is actually a list files from set block I've done a custom template for it but just just take my word for it that this is actually a list files from set block that's working fine but what happens if I comment out the file set here save that and hit refresh we get an error message that says it can't find this class and as you're developing this kind of error message is actually very handy and uh, it's really just a case of looking to see what it couldn't find and then making and then having a look through your code and finding what that is and then making sure that you have actually a use statement there and same thing for file list so that's that case there now one thing I'll, I'll mention before we go on is why do we have some of these use cases uh, use statements with um, a full path like this and somewhere they're just singular like this well this comes down to the fact that concrete has um, a bunch of classes that have been aliased so if we look inside the config for concrete 5 we can see here there's an alias list and all this is really doing is saying if we use this we're actually talking about this so in the uh, the case before when I was looking at this one here um, for file set file set is one of those ones that are that is um, alias so if we look down we'll find file set and there it is and that's really an alias for for concrete core file set here what I can do and it doesn't really make any difference is that I can actually replace this here with the same thing and um, uh, the only difference is I need to make sure I use as file set here to make sure the class name is the same but if I go back and refresh we'll find it still works so there's actually two ways you can you can pull in new statements one is that you can refer to the common class name here and if it's one of those really commonly used um, classes in concrete 5 one of the ones in the list here all you have to do is just name it and it's ready to go the other is that you can actually do um, the full uh, namespace here so that's um that's that's as complex as it gets for a block and a block controller um, the rest of it you don't really have to to change your, your code that, um, in any way the rest of it is the same sort of style of concrete 5 development as it was in 5.6 so that's a, a block example so let's have a look at something perhaps just a tad more complicated um, with um, dashboard pages now I've got um, a couple of packages here and one of them is a, um, a slideshow something I was developing on the home page here something that handles uh, a slideshow with the custom script and for that I have a bunch of dashboard pages that um, I built to to actually manage and customize the slides so let's have a look at the way that the single pages for that have namespacing as well so this is my layer slider package and inside that I have controllers inside that I have single page inside that I have dashboard and then inside that I have layer slider and we'll just see how that sort of maps where we've got sliders here on the path so layer slider sliders so if we go into our sliders single page let's have a look at the namespace for this okay we've got concrete package layer slider camel cased then we've got controller and this is another one of those cases where controller and controllers is a special case this is singular but this is plural over here and this is really just for legacy purposes because in 5.6 we had blocks and controllers and pluralized folder names um, so this is this is kind of a special case so if you're using blocks or controllers or one of the other sort of common folders just take note of that sort of singular plural difference 
Then we've got single page, and we've got that one there, camel cased again. Dashboard, and we need a bit more space. Layer slider. And finally, I've got the name of my page, which is sliders. And that extends dashboard page controller. Now, like my block, that means that I need to have a, a use statement for dashboard page controller. And again, I have um, referred to the full path here um, because it, that's not one of those special cases that's been aliased. Um, I probably should have a, uh, a slash there just for consistency at the front. And that's how that matches. So it is the same pattern. It's a case of defining where the, the, um, the class is and sort of mapping between the folder structure and this list here of um, the uh, namespace um, pages and just taking note of some of those some of those slight differences if you're needing some examples you can always go into concrete's core folder and have a look at controllers for something like um, the single page here for the dashboard and you could go into anything here and you can see that the same convention has been used and um, so if you if you kind of get lost have a look at how the core pages in concrete have the namespace and then just apply that same logic but with package and then the name of your package in front of it so that's it's really the difference there so finally um, with this package um, I'm using some of my own custom classes and this is this is the hardest bit of namespacing I think in 5.7 but once you've once you've got the pattern again it sort of falls into place so this is where in your packages now you need a source or SRC directory and inside that you would create some folders to store your classes and so I've got a slide class here and again my namespace is concrete package layer slider and then source note the capital SRC there and then I've got layer slider and that needs to match the folder name there it's not a special case it just should match and then I've got slide which is the same which is a class name which is the same name as the file itself and it extends object because it extends object I need to make sure I've got um, whatever I'm extending there has been referenced and then again like my other examples Anytime I've used uh, down here, let's say a um, uh, find one file, I'm doing a file static call there. That means I need to use file. Or if I've got page somewhere, I'm sure it's somewhere down here. Um, I just really need to look for those examples. And if um, I find that, I can't find that one, loaders, loaders an example. Um, Anytime it complains it can't find a class, just come up the top here and um, add that class in and make sure it's referenced. Now, okay, so I've got my I've got my custom class that's been defined. I've got a namespace for it. I've put it in the right folder. What if I want to use it as part of a controller? So let's go into the controller for slides and let's see how it's been referenced. So down here I've got. Um, Oh, I might use slider as an example. They're, you know, they're pretty much the same sort of concept. So I've got I'm initializing a new slider, and that slider there is my slider class here down here. But without a use statement, how does Concrete Five or how does PHP know what I'm even talking about there? Well, let's go up the top. I've got slider there, and I've got use, and then I've got the the namespace which is concrete package layer slider source layer slider and that there would match up with the namespace at the top of my slider class and we'll see that there it is there source layer slider but going back we add the name of the class at the end and I actually don't need this as at the end doing doing this as slide is the same as doing that so I'll tidy that up while I'm here okay so that's so when you've done when you've done that if your file 
is in this source directory in this way concrete 5 will automatically load it in and make it available you just need to make sure that you actually reference it here now the bit that I just um, I just deleted let me finally cover that cover that over because then I've, I've pretty much covered everything to do with namespaces just for example I had uh, another library or another set of code where they also had slider well, that means that I've got two classes called slider and how do I differentiate between the two well this is where this as statement comes in I could call it uh, ls slider or something like that just to just to make it unique in my file and then I'd make sure that any time I've referenced slider I change it change it like that so it's just a way to kind of rename the class for the purposes of you using it in this file here now that's um, a lot to go over and a lot to um, uh, to to cover in a few minutes but I'll stress again that once you've worked out the pattern of looking at how I'll look at my um, this files from set because it's again easier once you've looked at the pattern of what the namespace needs to be for each of your classes for your package and blocks and then your single pages once you've seen that pattern and then when you've seen the namespace pattern for custom classes in the source directory you've sort of covered that and then when you recognize that you um, need to use use statements to reference classes well then that's the next thing covered um, and then from that um, you can explore some more advanced uses of um, namespacing use by simply looking at PHP's documentation there are lots of other tricks that you can do with it but it's not really any need as long as you follow this pattern you should be fine again I'm not a, a big expert on this this is just stuff that I've learned over the last um, you know several months working with with 57 so if there's any feedback on this or any corrections I'd uh, really like to hear them hope this has been useful to some cheers